Hi there everyone, it's Misty here from The Joy Fit Elf. Welcome to today's video. So this day, this video is going up on a Thursday, which is not a normal day, but I wanted to make this announcement and share with you the products. So I have been asked by Sabrina, who's the owner of Scrappy Tells Crafts, if I would be on her inaugural design team. And after a couple weeks of de deliberation, I decided to say yes. So I, that makes my third design team for 2021. I have scrapbookpal.com. Um, of course, I have the um, Anthony's Paper Crafts, and now I have Scrappy Tells Crafts. So the reason why I'm sharing this video with you is because number one, I got my products in, and number two, tomorrow, Friday, January the 8th, there's gonna be a blog hop or Instagram hop where you can win prizes. So um, there are, I think, a half a dozen of us, maybe even 10 of us who are participating in this block hop. Um, and as you hop along, if you're unfamiliar with them, they're kind of like a block hop and you follow and you leave comics, etc. cetera. Um, she's given away prices for her shop. So one thing that I hope to do in 2021, even if I'm not on a design team, is I want to showcase a smaller, um, crafting businesses so like papery ink who is just you know just getting started they're really they're still really small um i would say the same thing about hello bluebird but they've really grown this year so if you guys have any suggestions for small companies like anthony's or um, scrappy tells and you know any company that you think makes really good product and you want me to showcase them please let me know in the comments because i would love to do that so that's your question of the day if you know someone or not so I will be sharing videos using their products twice a month so every other Monday just about I think is what the schedule is going to turn out to be I will also be sharing those posts of course on my Facebook and Instagram now she's offered affiliate links and I as I mentioned last fall not fall summer I no longer feel comfortable using affiliate links and I talk about this more in the video that you're gonna see so, I mean, if you want to put in a note that I sent you, that's cool, but I don't want any of my videos to feel like a sales pitch. So even if I'm using something from somebody else, you know, as a design team member, I don't want it to come across as me trying to sell you something because that's not the intent for me. I just want to showcase these beautiful crafts from these beautiful companies who may be smaller and may be um, don't have the recognition that they really deserve. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Hopefully it does. Maybe it doesn't. Um, it's been a stressful day. Roxy had her vet visit her one year. She goes once a year. And of course, with the virus, they take them from the car. You don't go in, so you can't go in with them. And um, they took her from Rob, took her and her carrier from Rob like at 9 a.m. And they didn't start seeing her until after 10 because there was a, an emergency with an, another animal. And all I could think about was her and her carrier in a room by herself just crying because she hates her carrier. She only gets it one, once a year. And so I've been a little stressed <laughs> about that. And she's been really stressed too. Um, she just spent some time in here on this desk with me, broke a couple of things, but I'm trying to give her as much love and attention as I can because I know that she's had a rough morning and that's made mama have a rough morning. So anyway, so the products that I'm using or sharing with you today are going to be available starting January 8th, hence the Instagram hop. So I will do my best to link everything down below. Again, they won't be affiliate links. I won't make any money from them. Um, it'll just direct you. It's just directing traffic. <laughs> so make sure that you hop along with this. Um, it starts at 9 a.m. Eastern, which is 8 Central, 7 Mountain, and 6 Pacific here in the U.S. But I know it's going for at least a few days. So if you don't get to hop on the first day, you'll have a couple extra days to hop. So, okay, that's probably the longest introduction explanation in the history known to man. So let me shut up. Let's walk over to the craft table and I'll walk you through all the products that I picked for my design team project. Okay, y'all, my camera is going to do the thing where it doesn't like shiny and it's going to get real dark. So I'm going to share with you the package that Sabrina sent. And yeah, I'm really excited. So as I mentioned in the intro, all of these products are going to be available on Friday, January the 8th at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard. 
I hate saying standard or uh, daylight because we all get it wrong so much. So anyway, 9 a.m. Eastern <laughs> on Friday the 8th is when the blog hop will go live and I will have um, the link to my Instagram account down below. And from there, you can follow along with everyone and um, get a chance to win prizes. So that's really exciting. But yeah, so I was really flattered when they reached out or when she reached out and asked if I would be interested in being on their design team. Um, as you guys know, it hasn't really been something that I've done in the past. So um, I've only been, I mean, I did Action Wobble for a few months and then of course I did Scrapbook Pal. Um, I've done two videos for them now. I will be doing my third one. I think it goes live next week or the week after. And then of course I joined with Anthony. So um, it was really, I mean, it's just so nice to have your work recognized. Um, I have applied for a couple. I applied for Whimsy Stamps and they politely declined. <laughs> declined my, my uh, thing. So look how cute this came. She made a little tag that goes with the card. Um, I, so we got a credit and we got to pick what we wanted. There's a ton of stuff available. And a couple of things that she has available are these dies where you can build a vase or build a basket. So if you're someone unlike me, cause I, I'm not a 3D person, but if you're a 3D person, you're gonna love those dies because it's basically like a pop-up box, except one of them is a vase and one of them is a basket. So again, make sure you check out all the thingies down below. So I got a couple of stamps and then I got some coordinating dies as well. So this stamp set is Sweet Bear. So it has a kiss, oh, a kiss, lips for a balloon and then it has a couple of heart balloons. You've got some sentiments that will fit in the heart. Got this cute little teddy bear and you've got the chocolates. It says, just a little reminder that you are loved. Happy Valentine's Day, love is in the air. I'm yours, be mine, love you, hug me. Um, a different love you, or did I say that? I love you, I love, love you, oh my gosh. All you need is love, kiss me, and hugs and kisses right there. So really cute, 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 cute. Then this one is Popping Poppies. So you get this heart. These are in the heart for right now, but you don't have to stamp them inside. Then you get a couple of poppies, three actually. Um, there are some leaves and you get popping by to say hi. You popped, pop, you make life in my mind. Then I really love this one. You guys know how much I love roses. This is Rose Petals and her, um, she and her grandmother, I believe, are the ones that um, illustrated these stamps. So I think they did a fantastic job. So you get the three roses in a pot and then a couple of buds in a vase. Um, Rob actually sent me flowers for Christmas. I got them a couple of days before Christmas. They were purple roses. And then when they died, he went to Costco. And every time he goes to Costco, if we've got a little extra money, I ask him to bring home flowers because I just love having fresh flowers in the house. And they're purple. He brought home more purple roses. So the purple roses initially came in a purple vase or vase, however you want to say it. And then he bought two dozen more purple roses. So I've had purple roses since a few days before Christmas. And I'm filming this on what, January the 5th? 5th? Yeah, the fifth. So anyway, <laughs> it says roses are red, violets are blue. You, leave, you make life better by just being you. You are my best bud. Will you accept this rose? Have a rosy day. I don't think I bought or got the coordinating dies. I didn't. Because um, I figured I could do one layer cards or these are pretty simple to cut out. But I do think she has coordinating dies. So I got these. So these are... Um, there's not a name on it. These are the Rose Builder, I think is what they're called. So you can cut out the outline of the rose. This cuts off the outlines of the roses and then you can cut out the, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, the background of the roses 
And the same thing with the stone. Oh my goodness. Am I going to live? I think I'm gonna live. <coughs> that way, if you wanted to do like contrasting colors, so like you could do a really deep dark pink, like um, Melon Mambo from Stampin' Up, like this. So you could do one rose, like the bottom, the base of the rose in this pink, and then do like the outline of the rose in a coordinating color. Um, and really have some dimensional roses and turn out really, really pretty. This is the heart one. Again, I don't know what the names are and they're not necessarily on here, but all of it will be linked down below. Um, she does have affiliate links for her um, design team. But as you guys know, I'm no longer doing affiliate links. If you missed that announcement this summer, this past summer, excuse me, in 2020, um, I don't want it. I don't want my videos to feel like I'm trying to sell you something. So even if I'm on a design team, you know, I will tell you what I'm using and you guys can go look, but it's never with from me that I want to earn money off of your um your purchase and I know it's not you know it normally doesn't cost you any extra I know all of that but I don't want you to come to my video and it's always you know check my links buy for my links if you're gonna buy use my links because it that just gets really old and it's what, another reason why I left Stampin' Up like I mentioned I'm tired of selling so I want to share these beautiful projects with you or products with you and make beautiful projects but I don't want you to feel like it's a non-stop you know sells pitch every time I post something because there are affiliate links in the comments. Hope that makes sense. I don't fault anybody else for using them. It's just not a way that I feel the need to make income. So anyway, maybe you can just let her know that I sent you or something if you go make a purchase. So you've got some um, really pretty um, die cut hearts. There's, this goes with the lips, it looks like, and then the heart balloon. Um, and then you've got a heart with an arrow, got some heart with doilies, like heart doilies, and then a love with an arrow. So that's pretty cool. And the last one I got was the Spring Essential set. And the reason why I love this one so much is because there's spring, you know, there's Easter, and there's just floral. So you can do a butterfly, a caterpillar, um, you can do some Easter eggs, you, you know, you've got the grass, you can put, um, it can be grass where you're hiding an egg, or it can be, you know, stems for the little flowers and you can do a bouquet, and then you can pair it with any number of sentiments. So yeah, so like I mentioned, the vlog cop will go live Friday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern, which is 8 a.m. Central seven mountain and six pacific but i believe it goes until like the 12th or the 18th i don't have my phone with me but i will make i'll have all the information linked down below and like i said it is on instagram so you're going to want to hop along um there will be the rules it'll be in my post from today so thank you guys so much for joining me i really appreciate you it feels good to be back in front of the camera because i literally have not filmed since the last polar bear video. And I don't even know when I filmed that one. So, <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Um, if you missed it, I posted my word of the year video on Monday. Thank you all so much for your kind comments. I really do appreciate you. I have the best followers ever in my life. And then um, don't forget to come back Friday for the announcement on how to enter the Elfmas giveaway. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Love your faces. I'll see you later. Bye for now.